ever since 2005, ever since I first uh, was awakened and met my dragon, uh, at the moment that I just saw my dragon for the first time, I already changed my entire life once I returned from this other side, from seeing all of these dragons. I changed 100%, my attitude was changed, my mind, everything was changed about me, even the color that I wear. The color has always been, ever since 2005, all the change, 2006, being black. And that is not because I just wanted to be a witch that was uh, dressed in black. Not at all. Not a, it has nothing to do with it. Um, but people always ask me, why are you, are you always black? It's always black, not even as one, one piece of a different color on you <laughs> ever since 2005. Why is this? Well, it's actually, I didn't really understand it myself. In the beginning of, of my path, I, I was always wearing black and I couldn't actually answer to this question why I actually always decided to use black clothes. Everything was black about me. But uh, I remember, reminded myself actually how did you first see your dragon? You've seen the dragon at, the, at that moment. How did you see it? How did you see your dragon? And actually, yeah, the first time that I've seen my dragon was in a black shape, a black, black very very dark shape that my dragon was of course i came to understand that um a, a dark shape and a bla or a black shape on on your dragon means a new beginning it means that they are there with uh, um from the other side from the first time that they are ready to show themselves to let them sh being show themselves to you and most of the time you, when your dragon comes to you it will be more more most of the time in a black shape so your dragon will be a black dragon in, in the beginning doesn't mean that this is really their color but in fact they will be shaped like it it depends of course of uh, of the dimension where they have been through and how they uh, how they uh, entered your our dimension and most of the time they will come to you as a black dragon and i reminded myself to this actually this very beautiful moment the very beautiful black dragon that i've seen for the first time and i said to myself actually later on uh, i did this because animals for example animals or the dragon in itself they always have one color on their on their skin or in their scales one color they cannot change it humans change it all the time because the the color of their skin is not that pretty so they um, use clothes of it and they always use different kind of colors but in fact i just wanted to use one color only and that was the color that i first see my dragon entirely in black but there are, of course, other reasons that I could understand from wearing this same color. And uh, the other reason is because black neutralizes the, the, the energies from everything. Uh, that means it neutralizes. It means that black, in fact, is all the colors together. It doesn't make a choice. When you are using white, for example, you are... That is what I understand from it. That is what I understand from the dragon's path and my dragon. White represents that you don't make also don't make a choice but it's empty it's no power at all you are giving yourself away with white white doesn't mean that you are a virgin or something white means that it's empty it's actually not that much it's you are actually showing yourself to another and they can color every every single color in it all of their energies can be inside of this white this will n not remain white it's always white and white is actually nothing if you are using another color it has a different meaning other colors has all always has meanings and every if you are using blue for example or uh, red or yellow it's always going to have a very specific meaning and it's always going to have very spe specific energies as well. Um, if you are using a color, you are making a choice. Uh, for example, if you are... Um, I've seen in my, in my visions, for example, <clears throat> that whenever I see myself as a dragon, I've seen myself as a brown dragon. And a brown as well is choosing an energy, choosing one of, once again an energy. Um, but brown is the natural skin. Brown is, of course, your dragon can have a natural skin. But in fact, this is more like a spiritual color. A spiritual color that is not your skin that you are choosing. And black, I came to understand that black is every single energy, every single 
color. You are not making a choice. And that is actually where the dragon spot is standing for. You are not making a choice between dark and light. You are choosing whatever fits you. And that is also where the dragon stands for. The dragon doesn't make a choice. The dragon chooses whatever fits them at that moment. That is the reason why our path is gray. We don't make a choice between dark or light. And that is actually where black is standing for and neutralizes all of the energies into one color. And that is black. But of course, like I said, you know, everyone can... I, I, did, I didn't even understand why I was doing this. I didn't even understand. I could not answer the question, why are you always black? That is the reason why. So, you know, in a way, I just wanted to say that our path is, in fact, not having a choice as well. And in choosing black, in choosing this black color, I just don't make a choice. I don't make a statement. That is also what I'm doing in the Dragon's Path. I don't choo choose between dark or light. I don't choose between fire or water. I want to choose everything at once. In neutralizing the energies. Of course, <laughs> but I, I came to learn this later on. I came to learn this later in my stages of my path. I came this to know later on, but I didn't even understand why I always wanted to wear black. Uh, in, in, at first I was just saying that this is, was in fact something that I felt good with. I felt good with this and of course the first, the first that came in mind was the color of the dragon that I've seen for the very first time. The color of the dragon that I, the color of my dragon that I've seen for the very first time and that was a very powerful moment and I wanted to be a bit like that I wanted to be a bit like my dragon but in fact I came to learn later on that the color of my skin and the color of his skin was in fact something different than dark of or black the color of our skin doesn't matter it's the color of our spirit that matters and the color of, of your spirit the blacker it be becomes the lesser it will be corrupted because you fill it up with all of the energies and the lesser it will be corrupted as well. I don't wear this to be a, some kind of a witch of the forest. I don't wear this to make a statement or something like this. In the first thing, the first reason why I'm, I, I always wear black for the last 17 years was simply because I felt good with it. And later on my dragon came to let me understand more and more about this about the color black that this is not something just because that this is not just uh, because i just wanted to to seem cool or something like this of course not i just wore every single color before before i was on the dragon's path but one once i was on the dragon's path color was the only color i mean black was the only color that fits me and my dragon only wanted to see me in the in the in the color of power, in the color of energies, in the color where you cannot be corrupted, in the color that neutralizes all of the energies, that doesn't make a statement or a choice, that your spirit is going to be very black, very, not dark, but black, 